and people who support the creative industry. Um, one of the reasons that I was really compelled to perform at this was because I have personally suffered some mental health issues over the last 10 years. And now that I'm through on the other side of it, I can say that I'm a stronger person from all the ups and downs that I have been through. But there are as many bad and destructive things within the music and entertainment industries as there are beautiful, compelling and magic. We have some of the most sensitive storytellers and artists in the world performing um, alongside a lot of people that can sometimes take advantage of that sensitivity. And I think the strong of us and the resilient of us really do need to get to the end of our chapters and then turn around and see how we can help um, others to not maybe be in pain that we've had to endure. And then you can look at the ups and downs, the depressions and anxieties that you've been through and you can find some kind of beauty inside of it. And I think in that moment, you're completely healed and you don't even regret it happening. So it's just such a pleasure to be here. Um, some of the songs I'm gonna to perform tonight are kind of autobiographical. Others are just, I guess, the way that I see the world. And uh, that's, you know, I guess the beauty of lyric writing. And uh, what an absolute joy and pleasure to have Ray Williams with us tonight. Um, an amazing man who managed to influence and create one of the most wonderful partnerships that the pop music world has ever known. Um, I was expressively inspired by the story of the two of them because um, I, I've always sung, but I don't actually play musical instruments. I play a little bit of piano and I played some flute when I was a child, but one of the things um, that impacts my career is that I require um, to work, I have to work with other musicians in order to have shows and I can't just stand up on my own. So I have to understand the in intricate nature of all these different musicians in order to have these partnerships and every single musician I work with has their strengths and they have their weaknesses. Um, so the fact that um, that partnership was created to bring out the strengths of both of those two wonderful men and then bring such beautiful, beautiful music to the world. It just gave me hope that I could go out there and find people who would partner up with me. So just thank you so much for the bottom of my heart. You made me feel like I could do it. <laughs> Great, you're, you're amazing. Um, so coming up on the stage right now is um, a very, very dear friend of mine, Mikey Krista, who I met at a small jam session in a pizza restaurant in Kensington a couple of years ago. And um, we struck up a friendship. We've had our ups and downs. Um, <laughs> and, um, but at the end of the day, what, what we both have um, is loyalty. And I think that goes a very long way. And um, our passion for the music that we're able to create together um, has created a very long-standing friendship that I'm very grateful for.